Well, we've made it to the Oak Harbor Apple Festival, and we just walked down two lanes down there of food booths. Like, I don't even know what we want to eat at this point. I saw us, you get overloaded with uh, a little, you know, Italian sausages, fish and chips, burgers, uh, Mexican, uh, you name it. So over here, they're making some apple butter. It's like Boy Scouts. That's uh, what the Oak Harbor uh, Apple Festival is all about. Some apples, I guess. Some of the booths have apple stuff. Saw some apple fritters up here. All right, so much for the Oak Harbor Apple Festival. Now this is a small little crossroads town in uh, Northwest Ohio. And it pretty much was just a great big street fair. Like two streets crisscrossing that were just one food vendor after another and Apples, okay, it's an apple festival. There was almost no apples there. Two booths we saw with apples. So what we end up doing, apple fritter. We got it right from the bakery. Mmm. Mmm. You gotta love fresh pastry. So our trip to uh, Oak Harbor was a worthwhile after all. To pick up an apple fritter. For a dollar. For a dollar. Can't beat that at an old fashioned bakery. Very good. But the rest of it, <clears throat> oh, in this fair. You walk down a fair, and over the street speakers, they had like megaphone speakers up on the telephone poles blasting the same theme song for Oak Harbor Apple Festival over and over and over and over. If I had to stay there any longer, it would have drove me nuts. No offense to Oak Harbor, but really, you need to switch it up a little bit with the music because people are just going to... Maybe they like that here. I don't know. All right. So we're going to head back to camp now and just chill out. We've seen everything there is to see here. Enjoy the fire for a little bit. Enjoy we always run like crazy. Yes, we do. We are at the uh, Maumee Bay Resort uh, Lodge, whatever you call it. They have a nature center over here. No, over there, they're having the National St. Bernard Dog Show. I'm not kidding. So there's like St. Bernard's all over the place. There's one right there. Hey, Bob. Big dogs, they're huge. They are huge. That one down there, they got a whole pen full of them. But uh, I think it's over, the show's over. It was earlier this week, so. But uh, we're gonna check out the Nature Center here first and see what it offers. And then uh, go back over here to the gift shop and see if we can find something for our RV that's kind of, uh, Related to this park, we can have a little souvenir of our weekend. So 
some turtles up there. Oh, water snake, northern water snake. And those things are nasty. They're, those are aggressive. What do we got here? A little frog. Hi there, buddy. <laughs> here, we'll do an underwater shot. Nothing to look at there. Mink. Oh, muskrat. Eastern garter snake. We got a lot of those at the mountain bike trail. Really? Brown snakes, yeah. They're all over the place. Box turtles. Well, you pick up all those snakes at the stone line. I want to pick those big fat ones that were kind of like tame up there. We got a bullfrog, a little toad. He's huge. And a bullfrog. Roop, roop, roop. Look at that puzzle. <coughs> That's a puzzle, huh? Yeah. There's a snapping turtle skull, similar to the one we found, but the one we found was probably uh, as big as that skull back there. Not a little tiny one like that. <coughs> Saw wet owl. Is that her picture of the snake? Oh yeah, there's the snakes. Oh mercy. That's a big boy. The other one's head is over there. Those are fox snakes. Eastern fox snakes, to be more specific. Uh, ducks. Turtle and a snake over on the other side there. Naturally grown that way. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. There's your coyote. Red fox. Badger? Oh, we have badgers around here. Muskrat, woodchuck, and a mink. And a goose. That's a little viewing station, but there's no wildlife out there. Just a muddy pond. This is interior of the uh, resort. And I want to show you this. This is a lighthouse lens. And it was manufactured in Paris, France in the late 1800s. 
and uh, it was in the Toledo Lighthouse. So, pretty cool looking thing. But you can imagine that thing lit up and uh, boats could see it for miles and miles. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Hey kids, good morning. It's Sunday morning and uh, the sun's shining, but don't let that uh, deceive you because it's 40 degrees outside. The temperatures went down. When we got here Friday night, it was 80 degrees. It was stifling hot. Sun was beating against the side of the RV, uh, actually coming right in under our canopy, so the canopy didn't do any good. And uh, <clears throat> then the temperature dropped. So last night was a little chilly sitting out by the fire. I had a really hot fire going, and uh, we were still kind of chilly out there. You pretty much had to wear uh, winter seasonal gear. So <coughs> <coughs> we had the, the heater on last night. We turned the furnace on, and... Uh, in the RV with the furnace going all night, it got kind of stuffy. And it's kind of a real dry heat too, so you know it's kind of hard on your sinuses and your lips get dried out. So I opened up the bedroom windows to get some air circulating through, which helped somewhat. So we had the furnace on and the bedroom windows open. Uh, but still, we woke up this morning and I was like, ugh. So, cold weather camping, I'm sure we got some adjustments to make in here as to how we're going to heat. Um, had breakfast this morning, made some pancakes over there on the stove, and uh, had some leftover sausage from uh, the other day. Today we're just going to kind of take it easy this morning and slowly put stuff away because it's Sunday and it's day to go home. We gotta pack up, hook up, and then a two hour ride back home. And unfortunately tomorrow back to work. I'm not happy about that, no way. But it is what it is, so I haven't even been outside yet this morning. Usually I'm out there poking the fire, you know, getting the, the fire crackling, Warm, getting nice and warm out there, but it's so cold out there. <clears throat> There's no campers really hanging out. Uh, they're all in their warm abodes until the sun starts to warm things up. So that's our trip at uh, Mommy Bay. Probably the highlight of my trip this week was the uh, the Lake Erie shore. I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, not much to see on the uh, uh, marsh, uh, the boardwalks, nah. The uh, Apple Festival, eh, not, nothing, nothing we've ever seen before. So uh, it's just all about camping and enjoying the camp and sitting around the campfire, eating good. It was a good weekend. And we've got another camp scheduled in a couple weeks we'll again be going to the north shore of lake erie but the other side up towards new york to a place called geneva so we'll look forward to see what that's all about <laughs>